What is up guys? We're back here with another video. We're gonna be fishing a body of water that we fished last weekend and we're targeting smallmouth bass. Uh, very low pressure, very foggy out, uh, overcast conditions. It's supposed to get up to like it's supposed to get up to like 68 degrees, so like almost 70. And we're just gonna see if we get some big bass for this G Money Strong uh, spring open. I mean, right now I'm in third on the leaderboard, so we're gonna try to move ourselves, move myself up to first. I got a crankbait tied on here and a Ned rig. So they were biting Ned rigs last weekend, so we'll see if they're still biting Ned rigs. This time I'm on a different dam though, so let's see what we could do. All right, guys, I'm gonna start with the Ned rig. I'm gonna start with this net rig. Last weekend I was using the peanut butter and jelly and that worked, I have more of those. Uh, so let's start with the more natural and see if they will bite. These fish were coming on really long casts and they're coming like really far out there. It's not like, none of, the, none of the fish we really hooked up to were shallow except for Sean's largemouth, which looked like it was starting to move up because its tail was all bloody and stuff, which is a sign of a uh, spawning. So I'm throwing this on a medium heavy rod Black Max Abu Garcia with a Shim Shimano Sedona 3000 reel. I have 15 pound braid and I did have a 12 pound uh, monofilament leader but it broke off and I did not bring my leader. So now I'm fishing my net rig to straight braid which is a, uh, you can do it but it's preferable that you use a leader. You guys won't be able to see, but actually right in front of me, there's a crawfish. There's crawfish all up in these rocks. That's what these smallmouth, largemouth, there's pickerel and there's pike in this uh, body of water. So that's what they all feed on. The ideal setup to fish a Ned rig is probably like a seven foot rod with a soft tip. You definitely want a soft tip when fishing a Ned rig because some bites could be very sensitive. The soft tip is key, which I do not have on this rod, of course. Uh, I'm trying to get a new rod to pair with this reel. Oh, I might have just had a bite. Got one. Got a fish. Stay down. Oh, it's a smallie. Oh, nice smallie, nice smallie. Nice smallie, nice smallie. Oh, yes, boy. Look at that fish on the net rig. Guys, look at this pig on the net rig. Look how he ate that perfect. All right, guys. We're gonna throw we're gonna throw this smallmouth on the scale real quick for the G Money Strong. Three seventeen, guys. Three seventeen. Okay. Look at that smallmouth. Chunk smallmouth, guys. Chunk smallmouth. Let's get a release. Look at that guy. There he goes, guys. Woo, let's go. And uh, yeah, so 317 G Money. Let's get some more. It's not Canada crawl, but it's kind of close. I think it's Green Pumpkin, it's Green Pumpkin. I'm using Green Pumpkin Ned Rig. Uh, and that dude smoked it. So that guy actually hit it once, and then he wasn't there, and then he came right back for it. Once I felt the first hit, you could tell it's smallmouth, because smallmouth are very aggressive fish. Poppers and stuff, if you miss it once, they'll actually just, they'll follow it like all the way in most of the time. 
So that's why I wasn't worried when I got the, well, I was actually happy when I got the first hit because I knew he was going to come right back for it. They're hard to keep the fish on, but they work so good. Oh. Got one, got it. No, no, this one feels nice. This one feels nice as well. Don't jump, don't jump. Nice small mouth, guys. Nice small mouth. They're stacked. They're stacked in this one area. Oh, this one's bigger. This one's not done. Get to a better landing spot. Oh my god, look at that fish. Oh my god, guys, this one's even bigger. Look at this fish. Oh my. First of all, look how he's hooked right in the top lip. Look, guys, look at this fish. Oh, oh my God, that's a pig. Look at this smallmouth, guys. Look at that smallmouth. Uh, he's strong. Okay, I'm gonna get a quick weight. 377 is blurry, but you guys can see that. I'm gonna get him off the squirrels. Scale as quick as possible. Look at that small mouth. Oh, uh, he's all good, guys. He's chilling. Look at that small mouth. Look at the colors on him. Oh my god. There we go, guys. Yes, let's go. Oh my god. Can you believe it, guys? That's four. That's two fish. Almost four pounds. That's, fu that's ridiculous. Let's go. Let's keep fishing because they're schooled up right here. So let's, let's keep fishing. There's a fish. What is this? It hasn't come up yet. Usually a smallmouth would have came up by now. Unless it's just a ginormous fish. Oh, it's a big pickerel. Big pickerel, or a decent pickerel. It's not huge, but it's nice. <sighs> That's a nice pickerel right there, y'all. This one, this pickerel's got some beautiful markings on it. Absolutely gorgeous pickerel. Nice pickerel, guys. Let me see if I can. Look at that pickerel. The head on this thing is huge.
There he goes, guys. Alright guys, uh, we're back in the car now and uh, you know it's pretty good, pretty good. We caught two fish, uh, three fish actually, that big pickerel too, I forgot. But yeah, uh, this could either be the end to this video or it could, uh, or I might hop to another pond depending how much time I've left. Alright, I'm at a new spot now and there's two other kids fishing here. And they just pointed at something and started like holding their hands up to like show a size kind of. So it looks like they saw a fish. I'm gonna continue to throw the chatterbait at this spot because there are some massive bass in here. So hopefully I can hook up. Watch them come up and eat it. There we go. All right, guys. Nice bass right here. Probably like a one pounder. That came on the chatter bait. I'm gonna get a quick weight just because uh, the G Money Strong Challenge. So I'm gonna weigh this fish real quick and put it back. Decent fish right here, guys. Let him go. 2.45 on the chatterbait. There he goes. There he goes. I don't know if you guys see that ginormous carp two ginormous carp that's it guys that's gonna be it for this video i caught one fish at this pond or lake whatever you want to call it almost the three pounder that's gonna help for the g money strong challenge that's gonna be an end to this video though so if you guys like this video please leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll definitely be back with more g money like i said these boys got their work cut out for them i'm having a pretty good start to the season so let's get that challenge underway